Drader McCain uses prestigious award to trash Trump, big mistake after POTUS shows up with ugly surprise. President Trump has his share of naysayers. In fact, many in his own party aren't willing to back him carrying out the wishes of Americans who elected him. The established career politicians haven't taken too kindly to the businessman turned leader of the free world being elected to ruin their scam of doping the American people into paying them to lie to us. With that being said, and even with the entire Democratic Party being categorically opposed to everything he's trying to do while in office, there might not be any bigger enemy of President Trump than the Arizona Republican Senator John McCain. The 30-year veteran of the Senate has had problems with the president from the beginning, and not everyone knows exactly why. However, that is about to come to an end one way or another. Breitbart News reports that McCain took a very pointed jab at President Trump while receiving a medal from Obama's VP, Joe Biden. In receiving a Lifetime Achievement honor, longtime Senator John McCain signaled a dissatisfaction with aspects of the U.S. government, warning against what he called spurious nationalism. McCain, the Sixth-term senator from Arizona, didn't mention President Donald Trump by name during his speech at the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia on Monday night, but some of his words appeared to refer to the president's national and international leadership. To fear the world we have organized and led for three quarters of a century, to abandon the ideals we have advanced around the globe, to refuse the obligations of international leadership and our duty to remain the last best hope of earth for the sake of some half-baked, Spurious nationalism cooked up by people who would rather find scapegoats than solve problems, is as unpatriotic as an attachment to any other tired dogma of the past that Americans consign to the ash heap of history, McCain said. We live in a land made of ideals, not blood and soil. The Nazi slogan, blood and soil, was recently referenced at the white supremacist rally held in Charlottesville, Virginia, in August. McCain might feel that he's got some legitimate concerns with the president, but that was neither the time nor the place for him to air those out. And there might not ever be a time or place for him to elude that the person the American people elected to the office of president is a Nazi. The problems that McCain has had with the president seem to all be centered around the very things that Americans were most concerned with him doing while in office. Things like health care reform building a wall and deporting illegals are issues that middle-class Americans are extremely worried about. However, McCain seems to just have a general grievance with the president and objects to his policies on principle alone. The senator, who received the Center's Liberty Medal for his lifetime of achievements, said that the United States has a moral obligation to continue international leadership, and we would bring more than shame on ourselves if we don't. In a possible jab at Trump, McCain also spoke of people who would rather find scapegoats than solve problems. The award was presented to McCain by former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, who noted the former Navy pilot's time as a prisoner of war in Vietnam and described him as an inspiration. Everybody talks about these virtues, but this is what the guy did, Biden said of McCain. Duty. 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 It's the marrow running through the solid steel spine of this guy. Diagnosed with brain cancer in July, McCain said it has been a privilege for him to serve the United States, militarily and politically, for 60 years. We have a moral obligation to continue in our just cause, McCain added. We will not thrive in a world where our leadership and ideals are absent. We wouldn't deserve to. McCain's comments were met with silence this time though. According to The Hill, his very pointed attack on the president was finally too much and the president didn't waste any time in letting the out-of-touch senator know that he wouldn't tolerate much more of these kinds of comments. President Trump warned on Tuesday that he would fight back after Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, delivered a blunt denunciation of nationalist forces that was seen by many as a thinly veiled attack on the president. People have to, be, careful because at some point I fight back, Trump told WMAL radio host Chris Plant. I'm being very nice. I'm being very, very nice. But at some point I fight back, and it won't be pretty. This fitting retaliation comes after months of McCain sticking it to the American people by voting against the president's measures, 
even at times when he said he would support a piece of legislation like the repeal of Obamacare. The American people have taken enough from this rhino and the president seems to be ready to do something about it. If McCain wants to know what it's like to be locked in battle with the president, he should probably go talk to Hillary and see how well that worked out for her, for her.